Hey guys, how's it going? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com. On today's shop project, I'm gonna show you guys how to build one of these. It's a piece of wood, no. It's a magnetic uh, bottle opener, and uh, it's got these really strong neodymium magnets embedded in the back, so that allows you to mount it on any magnetic surface, and it also catch all the bottle caps when you open up your soda. So stay tuned and we'll get into the video. Okay, first thing I do is I grab a piece of wood. In this case, I have a piece of scrap alder that I have been laying around. Cleaning up one edge of the, the board. Set my fence to four inches, and then I rip two four inch strips from the uh, scrap piece of wood. Next, I measure 10 inches and mark it on my sled, and then I put a stop block there so I can get some uniform cuts. And I was able to get four pieces out of that scrap piece. Next, I bring it over to my router table and just give it a nice decorative edge. In this case, I have a round over bit. You can see there, it looks, looks nice and fancy. Of course, you always got to sand anytime you're doing woodworking. Got to make sure everything's nice and smooth. Get rid of any burn marks from the saw on the router. I like to use my mouse uh, to get into those little corners of the uh, edge there. Next I bring it over to my drill press and I'm using a three quarter inch Forstner bit here. I'm going to drill down as close to the other end of the wood as I can so the magnet will sit as close to the other face as possible. And I do the same thing, drill another hole right underneath it. That way you can have two of the magnets fit in there. Next I got a quarter inch drill bit and I'm just going to drill on all four corners of the back side of this piece and that's gonna house four more little quarter inch magnets as well. It'll just help it stick to whatever surface a little better. So here I'm using just some Loctite um, super glue. Put a little dab in each one of those holes and slide the magnet in. Just give that a little push, make sure they're really set in there. Next, I do the same thing with the three quarter inch holes. I put a little glue on the bottom, slide the magnets in, make sure that they're pushed down completely, and finish off with a little extra glue on top. Here I have some Minwax fast drying polyurethane spray, clear gloss, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few coats on, uh, on the back and several more on the front. raising pyramids and finish off that wood make sure all that grain pops out and looks really nice this alder looks really beautiful when it's got a finish on it Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to make one of these for yourself, I put links in the description down below on where you guys can pick up the materials to build one of these for yourself. Hey, and if you don't want to build one yourself, you could always buy one on my website. That link is also down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of our other shop projects coming up. And uh, if you like the video, click the like button. Thanks. See you on the next one.